Do I have to buy optional items to get ahead in the game? Is there items I should buy or avoid completely? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you, Sprouts, the absolute best time that you should look into purchasing things from the Final Fantasy XIV Mog Station for big savings, as well as the general breakdown of optional items and just the Mog Station in general. What's up guys, my name is Stefan Ash and I have another Final Fantasy guide for you. Today we're going to be talking about the Mog Station and the optional items in Final Fantasy XIV and when and why you might be wanting to purchase some of these things. If you get any value out of this video, then don't forget to limit break three that subscribe button down below. In Final Fantasy XIV, we have the Mog Station. This is where you take care of all of your account related issues or transfers or anything you wanna do for your account management. In the Mog Station, you have optional items. This will take you to the Final Fantasy store. The Final Fantasy store is where you purchase items for in-game for real money. All MMOs usually have a way to purchase things inside the game or at an account login area. The really great thing about Final Fantasy XIV is that the items sold at this store have zero effect on your gameplay through the story. Many MMOs have things you can buy to better your gameplay such as weapons or stat boosting or something similar, but luckily the only things you can buy from Final Fantasy XIV is the actual story skip potions and level skip potions, but the armor gotten from the level skips is the same armor as in game, so technically it doesn't provide an advantage in any way, merely just shortening progression. The majority of the items in the MOG station or optional items are glamours, outfits, emotes, dyes, and more. Since there are so many things you can buy from the MOG station, you might wonder why you would even need to buy anything. And honestly, I think many players really don't. You might go months without even realizing there is an optional item store you can purchase from since it's not really thrown in your face like other games would do like when you log in every single time it's the first thing you see on your screen. Let's jump into when you actually might want to buy something and it will work if you have a little bit of patience but that's when they're having a sale. Sales happen multiple times a year and you can save a ton of money just by waiting for when a sale pops up to buy your favorite emote or mount or glamour or outfit. If you can have the patience to wait, you can potentially save yourself hundreds of dollars in the long run just by waiting for the next big sale, which happens sometimes with in-game events, new patches, new expansions, cough cough and walker. And even at the making of this video, there's a sale going on right now. When navigating to the optional store, you'll want to click on this on sale tab to see the current sales. There is an amazing sale going on right now for some really awesome mounts that are anywhere from $5 to $10 off, which is huge savings. I really like to stock up on emotes when they're on sale, which many of these ones are. It's really satisfying for someone who has a budget and likes to manage their money to save a couple of bucks per item and it gives you more enjoyment in game. Comment down below if you'd like me to make a video every time a sale is happening to keep you guys up to date so you don't really have to keep track yourself. I would say probably the most purchased thing that I see in the optional item store are the glamours you can get here. Many of the times when you're playing in game and you're seeing an outfit someone put together, they might actually have taken some of these pieces from the sets here and paired them with other in game sets. I did that here for my striking class to get this really cool wings and robes look. This comes from the angelic outfit here on the optional item store. Once you get it, you can simply watch my glamour guide video to learn how to put it into the glamour dresser and make glamour plates. Honestly, a lot of my glamours come from the outfits here in the optional items because some of these pieces are just too good to pass up and really gives you that clean aesthetic look that you might be looking for that in-game items don't really give you. All in all, make sure to keep an eye out for the optional item sales that happen a few times a year. You can see that in the lodestone, which is right when you log in, and they should have a little tab here to show if there's a current sale happening or when new items are added to the optional item store. I don't always wait for a sale, but it kind of helps out when I know I want to do some big shopping for emotes or mounts to wait for the sale to come so I can save myself a little bit of in real life money. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. A huge shout out to my Patreon sponsors for keeping this channel going and protecting me against the YouTube algorithm. If you'd like to keep watching helpful Final Fantasy guides, then you can click here.